So for the most part, I got this daylight savings time thing down. You should see too much light bouncing off, or at least not be over distracting. Anyways, the Wet n Wild Color Icon palettes have come out with some really cool uh, stuff for the holidays this year. We have a re-promote of the I Heart Matte palette. Uh, this year it's called Sparkle... What's it called? No, it's called Drinking a Glass of Shine. So if you missed out last year and you really, really want it, I do recommend it. If you want to get a second one, do that, whatever you want. Um, so I know it's a disappointment to some, and, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. So anyways, there's two other really pretty palettes, and today we're going to be using um, some of the colors from I Heart Matte, just so the whole look isn't too glittery, and this beautiful brand new Sparkle Till Morning palette. Um, these little sparkly thingies in my hair, they just twist in to your hair. They're like little twist things. I'm sure some people have seen them. I'll pull one out real quick. They look like this, and they're just from the drugstore, so um, nothing expensive or crazy. So most of the products I used in here are from the drugstore. Yay! Anyways, um, I hope you get the gist, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. The 100% Pure Organic Coffee and Caffeine Eye Cream, the All Natural Face Magic Vegan Eyeshadow Primer, and I already put that all the way over the lid up to the brow bone. I'm now going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil and Matte Camille. I'm just going to go ahead and blend this onto the brow bone with my finger. This Sparkle Till Morning palette from Wet n Wild is now available for the holidays. But I'm going to be taking this crease color at the bottom on top of my Dawn Tool 772. I'm going to go ahead and pat this color all over the eyelid. and pull it a little bit into the crease as well. I take this light brow bone color right here. It's almost like a pinky tan color. I'm gonna flip my brush over and just place that in the inner portion of the eye. I don't wanna pull the teal too far in because it just makes the eye look very dark and drab. Unless it's the look you wanna go for. I just wanna keep the eye a little fun and party-ish. It'll probably be kind of hard to find these again. These should be on an end cap. Don't try to look with the rest of the wet and wild. This closed, sorry. Don't try to look in the, re the rest of the wet and wild stuff. Uh, it should be in an end cap um, near the makeup. But anyways, um, this year this palette is called Drinking a Glass of Shine, which I have no idea why because it's a matte palette. Whichever one you have, whether you have I Heart Matte Drinking a Glass of Shine, it's the same. So I'm going to take eyelid, the, eyelid, the eyelid color and we're going to go ahead and blend in the crease. And I have not been drinking a glass of shine, sorry. I'm just going to blend this into the crease. I'm now going to take the brow bone color from the um, I Heart Matte or Drinking a Glass of Shine palette with my Urban Decay Good Karma Crease Brush again. I'm just going to blend out the brow bone down into the crease shade. I'm also going to take the brow bone white color and I'm just going to blend uh, this into the arch of the brow. I'm now going to take this eyelid shade which is this coppery light color right here. I'm just going to pull this into the crease and buff it up a little ways. Now I'm going to be taking a little bit of this, um, a mix of this sort of saffron color and this darker color. I'm just going to go over the edges of the outer corner of the crease and then just kind of buff in some dimension. Not really trying to get a whole other color, just trying to buff in dimension kind of subtly blend that out. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the saffron color by itself just to warm up the eye and add some pop or contrast to the teal. Now I'm going to take the gold and um, the saffron just to blend and I'm going to go over the outer edges of the smoky we've done just so that it blends in better with the brow highlight. 
To keep the look sort of fun, young, and cute, I'm going to take the black and we're just going to place this right in the deep socket. And just sort of do a slight cut with the black and the edge of the 772 or a pencil brush if you prefer. Now we're going to take the Tarte Multiply Eye Waterproof Liquid Liner and we're just going to go over the top of the lash line. I'm just going to draw a wing out and up. The Urban Decay 24-7 liner in El Dorado. And we're gonna line over the top of the Tarte Multiply Eye. This time extending into the wing, which I usually don't do, but I'm just gonna make this more of a fun party look. Take the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in baked. And you can go ahead and you can take drugstore liners if you prefer. I personally don't have any drugstore liners I like to use at all, and I've tried a few. If they're not my videos, it's because I don't like them, really. I'm going to go back and take Sparkle Till Morning, and we're just going to go ahead and take this gold right here. A bit more of this softer gold. Roll that in the inner portion of the lash line. I'm going to take this soft, soft buttery lemon gold, and we're just going to place this underneath the lower lash line in the inner tear duct portion. I'm going to take the Too Faced Size Queen Mascara and we're going to place this on the upper and lower lashes. I usually try to stick with whatever I'm using at the time, even if it's a drugstore tutorial, just for the safety and sake of my skin. Um, I took the Inglot AMC Cream Foundation in number 25, and it's pretty affordable. It's only $18 a bottle, which is a lot of money, which is not a lot of money for a foundation. So I went ahead and put that on. Take whatever bronzer you want or like. I'm going to take my uh, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I'm going to take this Eco Tools brush, which you can get at drugstores and grocery stores. But this is just a basic matte chocolate brown bronzer. So whatever makes you happy. And we're just going to go ahead and buff that on to just warm up the face and create a contour. I kind of do like a two-in-one contour bronzing where I just really buff it in the zones where I want my cheekbones to stand out in the corners of my face to slim down. My, um, my Stila blush, this is the coral one, and these are a little, uh, I guess, whatever you're used to paying for blush, I don't know, but these are moderate at $20 each, so not the cheapest, but not the most extreme either and they're really pigmented and pretty and you can see that it just gives you a nice glow. This is the coral. I'm now going to take the Physicians Formula Eye Brightener in Natural Eye Light. Looks like this multicolored little white thing and I'm just going to place this in my highlight. I would have taken a drugstore blush but I noticed that I, I cleaned some out of my drawer so I don't know where I put them and I might have thrown them out if I wasn't using them. I'm just going to buff this into my highlight. So now I'm going to take the Urban Decay 24-7 Lip Liner in Paranoid. I'm going to line my lips and fill them in really heavy. Just because the rest of the makeup is kind of full, I don't want the lips to look forgotten. Take Wet n Wild Mega Last in Pink or Bell, which is a really pretty kind of corally pink lipstick. Um, I'm now going to take a Wet n Wild Haute Flash, or no, sorry, this is not Wet n Wild. This is the Malone, Milani, sorry, Haute Flash in Full Coverage Shimmer Lip Gloss. This color is flashy, and flashy it is. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, the doe foot is like weird. It's like rubbery. See? Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope you find those Wet n Wild palettes because 
They try to make them better, I think, every year. If you already have the I Heart Matte palette and you're happy with it, you can always get a backup or just forget about it. I don't know, whatever you want to do. So I hope that you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.